Hello nursery children. Today we're going to have another story about the snow and this one's called One Snowy Night and the author is Nick Butterworth. Now we look on the blurb at the back. It says Percy the park keeper always feeds the animals in the park where he lives but one cold night Percy discovers that his little friends need more food and he must find a way to help them. Should we find out? How Percy helps his friends. There's one of his little friends there in his hat. There we go. Percy's hut. It's beginning to snow. Wow. It's been snowing here, hasn't it? It was cold in the park in winter. But Percy the park keeper doesn't mind. It's winter now, or it could be cold. He puts on his warm coat. And his big scarf and wears two pairs of woolly socks inside his Wellington boots. Percy likes to be out in the fresh air. There he is. He's all wrapped up. He's well, he's on. You see little Robin. It was middle of the park. There is a little hut. This is where Percy lives. You see his little hut. Percy lives. When it gets too cold to be outside, Percy goes into his hut where it's cozy and warm, like inside our house, nice and cozy and warm. There he is. He's sat outside his hut. The animals who live in the park all know Percy's hut. Every day he shares his lunch with them. Oh, isn't he kind? He's throwing his sandwiches to the birds. Nice to leave out some food for the birds, isn't it? There he is. A nice hot drink. Two biscuits. <laughs> One winter night, it was so cold it began to snow, and that's what happens when it's raining up in the clouds. It gets so cold it comes down the snow. Big, great big snowflakes fell past the window of Percy's hut. <laughs> said Percy. I think I need extra blanket tonight. He mailed himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Suddenly, Percy heard a tapping sound. There was somebody at the door. Now, who can this be? At this time of night, poor Percy went to the door to look out. I wonder who it's going to be. Who find out? Who's at the door? Oh, on the step was a squirrel. You see the squirrel? The squirrel looks very, very cold. It looked very cold and miserable. I can't get to sleep, Percy, said the squirrel. My bed is full of snow. Oh dear, said Percy. Never mind. I've got plenty of room for two. Oh, isn't he kind? And there's Percy. And there is a little squirrel tucked up in bed. Don't know if I'd like to have a squirrel tucked up in my bed. <laughs> the squirrel snuggled right next to Percy and they soon began to feel warm. It is. Not, not, not. It was a door again. Now, who can that be? Thought Percy. Ooh. Who it's going to be? You see there? Here it is. Standing outside with two shivering rabbits. It's freezing, said one rabbit. Frozen, said the other. You poor thing, said Percy. What do you think he's going to say? Come in and warm up. The rabbit squeezed into the bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way? Percy asked the squirrel. Your tail is tickling my nose. Knock, knock. Oh dear. Now there's somebody else out the door. Do we copy this time? Can you see? Who's that? That's right, it was a fox. He looked very cold and hungry. Can I come in too? He asked. What do you think Percy's going to say? Percy scratched his head and thought for a minute. Well, you promised to behave, he said. I promise, said the fox. And he squeezed into bed next to all the other animals. This bed's going to be getting very full, isn't it? You can just see. Percy's slippers, and there's the squirrel 
This squirrel looks like it's fallen out of bed. And there's a paw. Bump! Ow! The squirrel fell out. Who did us that? asked the squirrel crossly. That we do ten in the bed, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody falls out of the bed. Oh my goodness me. Can you see? There's a great big line of animals. Knock, knock, knock. Goodness gracious, said Percy. It's a door again. This time Percy had quite a surprise. Their own step was a badger. A badger. And there was two drops. One, two. There was a hedgehog. A hedgehog. And there was a whole family of mice. All those. They all wanted the bed for a night. Wow. I wonder what Percy's going to say. I think he might have said yes. <laughs> poor old Percy. And poor old Percy's bed. The animals pushed and shoved and rolled around the bed. And there was just not enough room for them all. Soon the bed covers ended up in a big tight ball. Then bump. The covers rolled right off the bed and everyone fell onto the floor. Oh dear, said Percy. This won't do at all. My bed is just too small. Suddenly one of the mice pricked up his ears. What's that noise? He squeaked. Everyone listened hard. Now they could all hear it. There was a scratching, scraping sound. It seemed to be coming from underneath them. From underneath. There's something moving under the floor, whispered Percy. You see, there's a bit of a hole in the floorboard. The animals looked frightened. The mice all started to speak at once. Oh dear, what can it be? It might be a monster with fierce claws and sharp teeth. The noise grew louder and louder, and one of the floorboards be floor began to move. Look out, it's going up right through the floor. Suddenly there was a loud creak. Help! cried the animals, and they all ran to hide. There they are. All ready to hide. Uh-oh. Who could it be? You see, Percy's been very brave. He's looking under the floorboard. But Percy wasn't frightened. He started to chuckle. Then he laughed out loud. A small dark head was sticking up through the floorboards. You see who it is? You see? It isn't a monster, said Percy. It's a mole. Moles live under the ground, under the soil. I'm sorry to burst in like this, said the mole. I knocked on the door, but no one heard me. Percy helped the mole up through the hole in the floor, sat him on his hot water bottle to get some warm, and put the floor was. It's all right, everyone, he called. You can come out now. But no one moved, no one stirred, no one wanted to come out. He looked very carefully at all the animals hiding round Percy's hut. There we go, all the animals there, all hiding, all thinking, I don't think I want to come out. The squirrels tucked away in the pocket of Percy's dressing gown. We're all there. The hedgehog was in his coat. Oh, silly Miss Preston, I got it the wrong way round. That's a squirrel there, and that was a hedgehog. The fox, the rabbits, and the badger, and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice had even squeezed themselves into Percy's slippers. See there, Percy's slippers. Everyone had found a cosy bed. Well, I never, said Percy. Oh, found a place around his house. Foxes on top of his cupboard. Badgers in his drawer. Rabbits are in the drawer. Wow. Percy yawned. There he is. And snuggled down in his own bed once again. That's better. Now I've got plenty of room, he said. And a little to spare for a mole. There he 
Yes, Miss Mole. And that's how your adults must feel. If you get in their bed at night, mustn't it? They must think, who is this fiddling around in my bed? Glad you haven't got a lot of moles or mice in your bed. Oh, well, you have a lovely day and I'll see you very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye, nursery.